Welcome to Tradeland, an 18th century naval game where you can be a wealthy merchant, a fearsome pirate, or both. The choice is yours in Tradeland, but you probably have no idea where to start your journey, but luckily you came to the right place. I'm Aaron Arnicle, and this is the 2021 Tradeland's Ultimate Beginner's Guide. So to get things kicked off, we will be splitting up this guide into 11 sections and in each section I will go in depth so you can make the most out of your Tradelands experience. So without further ado, let's get right into the guide. When you first join a server, take a look at the controls. These controls are important and they will allow you to perform a certain action and you will need to remember them, but don't worry, I will remind you of them throughout this video. But other than that, you will be prompted to select a faction. Because you are starting out, I recommend you select either Whitecrest or Nova Balresca, as they each only have two hostile faction relations. But for the sake of this guide, let's join the Kingdom of Whitecrest. When you first spawn in, you will be given some oak iron, tools, doubloons, and a free starter sparrow. You will also notice that there are three buttons at the bottom of the screen, map, character, and inventory. Check your location, levels, and inventory by clicking the respective buttons. Let's get started by showing you how to collect resources. There are two main types of resources you can collect, wood and metals. The common material of each is oak and iron respectively. To collect wood, equip your axe, walk up to a tree, and swing at it. You know that you are doing this correctly if you hear clicking sound, and after a few hits you will receive a drop. To collect metals, equip your pickaxe, walk up to a rock, and swing at it. You know that you are doing this correctly if you are also hearing a clicking sound, and after a few hits, you will receive a drop. What are some things that these materials can be used for? They can be used to craft materials from the crafting anvil, and be used to build ships. But we'll get more into that later. As you chop and mine more resources, if you take a peek at the character menu, you will notice your timber felling and mining levels have gained experience points depending on if you chop wood or mine metals more, respectively. This level will affect your drop multiplier and provide a small boost in stamina. Another thing about mining resources is that once you have mined 1000 resources, your drop rate will gradually decrease until it hits a bottom low. To keep track of your resource count, type slash count and you will see how many resources you have gained this week. The count resets every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. An integral part of Tradelands is of course money. The Tradelands currency is the doubloon. There are many ways to earn doubloons and I actually have a video on that. I'll be linking that in the description down below. But the most simple and easy way to earn doubloons is by cargo trading. To begin, head on over to the Dockmaster, spawn in your Starter Sparrow, and sail over to the trading port. Interact with the trader to open up the cargo menu. A trick to save time is to keep the menu open, walk over to your ship, and then buy and drop the crate on your ship and repeat until fully loaded. For mobile users, to load up your ship, tap the item you want to buy and tap drop cargo on the lower right corner. For PC users, buy the cargo and then press the F key. An extra tip is to load up your ship and hold one crate for yourself without dropping it, effectively giving you one extra crate. The Star Sparrow only has space for two cargo, so holding one gives you three total. When you buy cargo, make sure the items are as varied as possible, since any type of cargo sold in succession 
will cause the, the, the balloon yield to drop. Now you are ready to set sail. Typically, you will earn more experience points and money if you travel further away. To sell cargo, sail to another island's trading dock, then drop your crate onto a black rectangle to earn money and experience points. Keep doing this until your ship is empty, after which you may repeat the process of buying cargo and setting sail. In addition to gaining main level experience points, you will also gain reputation points for the faction you are currently playing on. Congratulations, you now know how to trade cargo and progress through. As you successfully trade and sell cargo, if you take a peek at the character menu, you will notice that your main level will increase. Your main level determines what ships you are able to build in the shipwright. Currently, only level 1 to 10 ships are able to be built. Therefore, if you want to build bigger and better ships, you need to increase your main level through cargo trading. Aside from the main levels, there are reputation levels and skill levels. Reputation currently does not provide any in-game benefits. Reputation currently helps determine your eligibility to join navies and pirate crews. Skill levels are obtained by participating in certain activities. So, for example, timber felling and mining levels go up as you chop trees and mine more respectively. Gunnery and swordsmanship levels go up as you land more cannon shots on the enemy and successfully hit them with a melee weapon respectively. As you reach certain levels, you will gain benefits returning to that skill. A higher gunnery level means faster reloading times. You will also get new titles that you can display over your name as you progress through all types of levels. If you are going to progress through the game, you need to be able to get your main level up and to get that done, you need ships. Ships can be made with any wood that you want, but for the sake of this video, we will stick with oak and iron. First, head on over to the shipwright and open the menu and see what you want to build. Most ships require significantly more wood than iron, so you want to collect wood first. Almost every ship requires doubloons to be built, so make sure you have enough for the ship you want to make. As you remember from section 2, walk up to a tree and swing it with your axe and make sure you are able to hear the clicking sounds after each swing. Continue this process until you have all the wood and iron needed to make the ship. Once you have all the materials, make sure to put all of them in the warehouse and make sure you have sufficient doubloons to make the ship. Walk back over to the ship right once more to make sure you have all the materials you need and then you are finally ready to build your next ship. Another important aspect of trade lands is crafting. There are many things that cannot be done without crafting. Items include weapons, tools, cannons, and special items. To craft, simply walk up to any crafting anvil and with the materials on your person and browse until you find the desired items. You may notice that there are certain items that require you to meet a certain crafting level. There are many ways to get that level up quickly. At low levels, it is recommended you craft your oak and iron tools since you will need them to help you in the early game. Then, as you progress, spam round shots and eventually the largest cannon you are able to craft. There are some ingredients that require premium items to craft something and they are typically found at the premium merchants. Sailing your ship is fairly simple. On mobile, just tap the buttons in the direction you want to go. On PC, use the WASD keys. Bear in mind that ships cannot go in reverse, nor do they automatically accelerate and decelerate. There is another factor that impacts the speed of your ships, wind. In trade lands, wind travels in a clockwise direction about the wind rock, found between Perth and Benwick. Because of this, certain trade routes are more favorable such as Whitecrest to Salem and back. Your faction flag, typically on the tallest mast of your ship, 
will indicate the direction in which the wind is blowing. Sailing the, in the direction of the flag will get your ship up to the maximum speed, while going against the flag will slow you down to the slowest speed. Wind is not only important for trading, but also very useful in a combat situation or when trying to run away from some pesky pirates. When you set sail, there is a probability that you will run into trouble such as pesky pirates along the way. You need a way to defend your ship. Luckily, the vast majority of ships can bear cannons to help you defend. As of now, there are three types of cannons in three sizes, with turret only being able to be mounted by full ironclads. You can view your ship details by heading over to the shipwright and finding your ship's class. There, you'll be able to see the ship's maximum defensive capabilities. Additionally, you can also open up the ship editor while your ship is spawned and look at what size cannons your ship is able to carry at the maximum. To fire cannons, you need to have round shots in your inventory and or the ship you fire from must have round shots in the storage. Then you need to aim at the enemy ship and where it will be when your shot arrives. Then press F on PC or fire on mobile. There have been in-depth guides on how to fire cannons, so I will link them down in the description. Rules. Everybody loves rules. There are guidelines set in place to prevent any cheating, inconvenience, or trolling that would ruin the experience for other players. The most important rules are listed in the game's description. They include no alt farming or impersonating moderators. Alt farming is the leading cause of bans from trade lands. Alt farming is when you and your alt go on trade runs and then you transfer all of that money you earned from the alt account to your main account, giving you an illegal advantage. This also includes materials traded to your main account from your alt. I'm telling you this right now so you don't get into any sort of trouble. Of course, there are many more rules and information to the game, and that can be found in the Treatlands official Discord, and I strongly recommend that you join this Discord. You will be able to get notice on updates, post trade offers, and even join faction navies from here. So make sure you read all the rules and information in that Discord server to make the most out of your treatments experience. This section will cover things I did not mention in earlier sections, but I still think it's important to include. So, number one, never steal someone else's rock or tree. If someone is busy destroying a rock or a tree, find another one. Don't steal their rock or tree or there might be an angry confrontation. Number two, don't combat log. Combat logging is resetting or leaving the game to avoid combat, especially when you've been hit in the last 30 seconds. If you do, you may be put in jail and or your last ship's health will be zero. You will also look like a fool if you do. Number three, some melee weapons perform better when you either stab or slash. The weapon of interest here is the rapier. If you use a rapier, always stab. Watch my friend slash and stab me and watch how much my health decreases. <laughs> Number 4. When progressing through the game, it is recommended you get the ships in this order. Swallow, Dart, Marlin, and whatever you want after it. The Marlin is a gateway to all other ships, since it is an extremely versatile ship and it is fairly cheap. Number 5. It's best to play the game with a group of friends and or joining a group. Players can help each other progress through the game and you won't be as vulnerable as a solo man. So, therefore, two very important commands 
For this are the trade and invite commands. Just type the command in the chat and the username of the person you want to invite to the crew. In trade lands, you will see some terms being thrown around. Here are some basic terms that are commonly used. With all that being said, that concludes our beginner's guide. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that this guide was informative to help you start your trailings career. If you like what you see, consider supporting this channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video to your friends. Once again, good luck out there. This is Aeronautical. I'm out.